oftentimes when we talk about sustainability, we go down the road of some epic battle between good and evil, that there are forces in the world that are trying to protect human health and the environment, and there's some evil industry that's just, you know, motivated by 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 greed and lust to perpetrate, you know, nasty chemicals. And we really got to get over that, that, you know, in my experience in 30 years of chemistry, I don't see that, you know. We really got to step back and ask ourselves, why in the world would a scientist make a hazardous molecule in the first place? You know, and really wrap our, our heads around that because really that's, that's at the end of the day the, what's at issue. And here's the shocking reality. And is this really, really, if, if someone's not in chemistry, they may not believe this. And if someone is in chemistry, they're going to say, huh, I never really thought of that. But I have a PhD in chemistry. I went for four years of undergraduate. I went for four years of graduate school. I got a degree from a university, got pat on the top of the head and said, go work in industry and invent the next generation of materials. I never had a course in mechanistic toxicology. I never had a course in how to identify what makes a molecule toxic, what makes a molecule hazardous. And for some strange, weird reason, the way that we've evolved teaching science, we end up having that absent from our curriculum. As shocking as that is, not one college, not one university sees it as a requirement to teach students who are out in the world making new molecules how to do it in an environmentally benign, safe way. And so no matter how much the company may recognize that they need safe materials, if they don't have a workforce that's trained to do it, well, what are you going to do? And so I think the biggest issue we have to do is look at how we train scientists, get to the root of that, and have next generation army of scientists out there that actually have these skills so that we can do this. My name is John Warner. I'm the President and Chief Technology Officer of the Warner Babcock Institute for Green Chemistry.